in Ezekiel chapter 13. Going to finish up Ezekiel chapter 13. And kind of, uh, let's see, I think we're down, uh, down, down about in verse 20 or thereabouts. And last week, we talked up in, in, in verse 18 about, let's see, well, uh, chapter 13, are, you know, the lying prophets are reproved in, in, in chapter 13. And uh, in the, the latter part of, of uh, let's see, okay, yeah, verse 17 on down, talking about the, the daughters of the people, the, the prophetesses, if you will, uh, who the lady, lady prophets uh, of, of the people who are prophesying, but they're, they're, they are in the same category as the lying prophets that God is speaking about in chapter 13 and the previous chapter. You know, he's, he's got, there are prophets that are still in Jerusalem. This is before Nebuchadnezzar, four years before Nebuchadnezzar moves in and takes over and destroys Jerusalem. But, uh, but there are prophets in Jerusalem who these uh, prophet, Ezekiel's prophecies, what the word of the Lord came to, to Ezekiel saying this, and, but they are saying, oh, we're okay, we're going to be fine, we're in a walled city, uh, you know, nobody's going to attack us, uh, you know, and, and hey, we'll be fine. Okay? And God says, no, that's not true. My anger and my fury is going to be directed against you and all of the rest of the children of Israel because of their idol worship. Okay. So, but now we've, he's got, okay, the daughters, oh, the, the, uh, the lady prophets, they're, they're in the same category as the lying prophets still in Jerusalem. Okay. They're, they're passing out the same false information. They are not getting, neither one of the, the, neither the men or the women, none of them, are getting God's word. They're, you know, they're, uh, God is not saying to them, you know, thus saith the word of the Lord. So, but he's talking about them from verse 17 on down. And we talked a little bit, verse 18, the women that sew pillows to all armholes and make kerchiefs upon the head of every stature or tallness of person, to hunt souls. Okay. And we had a little bit of discussion about the, what these pillows were. <coughs> we're trying to figure out what these... Uh, there, there are references to, to like uh, charms and, and, and jewelry that they would put on their arms. Okay. That's, that's one possibility what these pillows are. Another possibility is, is like, like they would put shoulder pads. You know, like the... The guys put shoulder pads in, in, their, in their suit coats to make them, you know, kind of puffs, makes them look, yeah. What? I guess it kind of builds them up, makes them look stronger because they've got, wow, you know, they can, uh, all of that sort of stuff. And so there's, there's you know, that idea, the, the jewelry uh, and, and kerchiefs, they, they are, they are, uh, uh, dressing themselves up like what we think kind of the, the modern day uh, uh, what palm readers will dress themselves up. You know, they put on fancy, uh, <coughs> if you will, filmy type clothes, all colors and, 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 and uh, you know, jewelry and makeup to make themselves look, look, what, mysterious. I think that, that's kind of the idea, you know, and, and then, then they can go out and, and read your palm, you know, just like they're doing today. Cross my palm with a, with a few, whatever, pennies, which would be, what are the, what, what are, what are the uh, palm readers get these? What's the going rate for palm readers these days? 25, 50 bucks. Anybody been to a palm reader lately to, to, to be able to tell us what the... Yeah. 
t you know, Death. tell you your future. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's the idea. But, but he says, uh, you know, hey, they're, they're hunting the souls of my people. And, and they are giving the soul, you know, the, his, his people, his, his chosen people, they're giving them, the men and the women are all giving them false information, not the word of God, okay? And, hey, if they're not getting the word of God, and they're not trusting in God, if you will, as their savior, which is what's, you know, there are tons of people that pass by the, the fair booth every night that don't trust God, don't even know about God, okay? And if they don't hear that, what the, you know, God's word, where do they end up? God's jail forever. God's prison forever. Hell forever, okay? And that's what he's telling them. This is what's happening. And you, you will pollute, pollute me. They're, they are polluting God among my people. For here, here's, here's the, okay, cross your palm for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread. Okay? The, you know, the, oh, the lady prophets here. You know, a couple of handfuls of barley, some bread. Okay? Uh, you know, maybe a few pennies. Of course, Again, a, pen, a penny in those days, that was pretty much a day's wage. That would have been, you know, that would have been good money in those days. It sounds, sound, doesn't sound like much to us. You know, a penny is, a, you know, just a small piece of little bit of copper in it that's worth a little bit, but not much. Mm -hmm. So, to slay the souls that should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live, in verse 19. Okay. Why? The, the ones that, sh that should be going to heaven, okay, they're slaying them with what they're prophesying. And the ones that won't be going to heaven, okay, the so saving the souls alive that should not live, by your lying to my people that hear your lies. Gee, oh, but God, isn't he such a wonderful, wonderful, loving God? Isn't he, he's, he's so good and so kind, okay? But he's, he's telling people, hey, you're liars, and you're destroying my people, and you're killing my people that should be living to be with me in heaven. You're, you're liars. And, hey, verse 20, Wherefore thus saith the Lord God, here's, and, you know, Ezekiel is the, is the one that's getting God's word. Of course, remember, uh, Ezekiel, Isaiah, and Jeremiah were all contemporary, and they're all preaching, they are preaching God's word, thus saith the Lord God. It says, Behold, I am against your pillows, okay, wherewith ye there wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms. This, 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 is, this is not uh, a, if, well, yeah. This is, this is an angry God speaking here. And all through Ezekiel, he speaks of his anger and his fury and the destruction that's going to happen to the children of Israel because of their lying prophets, because of their idolatry. I tear them from your arms and will let the souls go, even the souls that, you, that ye hunt to make them fly. Your kerchiefs will I also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hand. Okay. He, he's going to destroy these prophets. And, and earlier it was said, you know, the... The, the, the men prophets, well, the lady prophets are in here too. They're, they, they, they don't even get named. Ezekiel gets named. Isaiah gets named. Jeremiah gets named. All of the other true prophets get named. But none of these guys or gals will even get named 
and they will not survive. Okay? They will not survive God's anger. <clears throat> uh, your kerchiefs, deliver my people out, of, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted. Okay? And that, that's kind of the idea. You know, today, uh, you know, like I said, you know, at, at the fair booth, when, when we can reach in some of those people, okay, we, we tear them out of, if you will, Satan's hands, and, and, we, and, and they're no more to be hunted, okay, by Satan. And, and they're, they're, they're no more to, uh, to, to die by false words and false prophets. They're, they're there to, to live, okay? Uh, save the souls alive that come, you know. Anyway, hunt the souls of my people. Anyway, they, they will be saved to live with Jesus, with the Lord. And again, verse 21 ends with a familiar phrase, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. You'll, once, once you get it figured out, you will know. Okay? Uh, and, and even those that, that end up you know, uh, being deceived by these lying prophets, being deceived by Satan, end up in hell. Even those folks that end up in hell, okay? where it's too late, where they can't do anything about it, those folks will know that I am the Lord. Okay? They will know. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad. Okay? And, yeah, you know, with, hey, Satan's lies are out there today, and, and does, this is true of us today. Okay? It may, the hearts of the righteous, the hearts of the saved people, are made sad because of their lies, because of Satan lies, because of false prophets lies. Okay? Our, head, our, our hearts should be saddened because of all the unsaved folks that walk by the booth and, and they're, they, oh, let's see, th this year we're, we're right next to the to the uh, tractor booth, okay, and they sure look at those tractors pretty good. <laughs> and, and then, then they kind of, then they kind of go make a wide circle, and go over to the Ford trucks, and look at the Ford trucks, you know, and and uh, you know, and and yeah. <laughs> and it is kind of a yeah, <laughs> wide circle there. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> we won't mention the one next door to us, which is the... Uh... Oh. Democrats can go to heaven. Yeah. They, they need Jesus, too. <clears throat> anyway, because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad. Okay. God hasn't made anybody. God has a purpose for, to make us happy, not sad. Okay. When we know that we will be with God, we should be overjoyed, thrilled, okay. what? and strengthen the hands of the wicked that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him, him, him life, okay? See, so with lies, with lies, they have strengthened the hands of the wicked, okay? That he should not return from his wicked way. Okay? They, they've just compounded the problem. They've, they've, they've made the wicked, wicked uh, unrepentant, uh, not believing. I'm going to just keep on following my idols I don't care about God. I'm okay. You're okay. We're all okay. Okay? And, but that's, no, there's no, no promise of life.
for those folks. Therefore ye shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand. And, and again, God is talking to the false prophets, the false prophetesses. Okay? No more lies, no more, no more vain conversation, no more useless information. Okay? He's going to deliver his people. And, but again, as he, as he said earlier, you won't see it because you will be gone. Uh, for I will deliver out of your hand, and again, repeat, ye shall know that I am the Lord. You will know it. And that's the whole purpose of everything in the Bible, that we shall know that he is God, and he's the true God, and he tells the truth. And what, door, uh, yeah, door, number, door number one, up there at the fair booth, God cannot lie. God, yeah, yeah, God cannot lie, and he won't. So that finishes chapter 13.